So you know, cookies are an important piece of information that is stored in the user's browser and generated by the web server whenever a user is logged in. So actually, cookies are um, act. I mean, they they act like identity of every user on your website. Okay. So whenever a user visits your website, logs in, whatever the transaction is they are doing, um, they are assigned a cookie, okay? And this cookie is designated to their identity on your website or, or web server. Um, so yes, cookies can be stolen, okay? And can be used to manipulate and impersonate your identity on a specific website, especially when it comes to stealing and taking over your account's credentials. You have a user, okay, who's trying to register on your website. Okay, so this user over here, um, when they register, they will have a username and password and they'll have their session identifier set for their session on your website. So let's go ahead and create a user. Let's say test one, test one, test.com, password, test. Okay. So now we have successfully logged into the website. And now I have a profile over here, test1, one, test1, one, and test.com. So whenever we click on any tab on the website, okay, we're going to have, or we're going to have session identifier set in order to distinguish us from other users and in order to track our movements in, in the website so that um, best experience is provided. And you don't need to log it every time you browse on the website, you browse through the website. So, so let me click on inspect to show you the cookie and go to network and let's cancel this, okay. So winners, okay. So if I click on all, and I can see here the request sent to the server. Moreover, I can do that using, I mean, uh, I can do this on the terminal. I go to the terminal over here and curl to show the headers. Uh, so on contest or angel scooters, if I have URL over here. Okay. So as you can see here, the cookie that's assigned to us is defined by PHP session identifier, and this is the value of your cookie. So if this value is stolen by mandem attacks or cross-site scripting, we're going to talk about here, or we're going to be talking about session hijack or accounts takeover or credentials hijack, whatever. So this important piece of information over here, okay, is very vital to your account security. So how can we go about securing the cookie on this side? So we have two set parameters, okay. So over here, in every cookie I have, okay, we got two main important parameters, secure and HTTP only flags. These two flags are very important to secure the cookie generation process. So HTTP only flag will instruct the web browser, okay, not to not allow JavaScript to modify the cookies, okay? So JavaScript will not be able to identify the cookies if we set the HTTP only flag to true. And the secure flag, is to make the cookie trans uh, make the transmission of the cookie while you are on the website or while you are browsing through the website is secured by the HTTPS protocols. So if you have HTTPS implemented, make sure you have the secure flag set to true. 
So how can we do this? Um, so let's go um, here, okay? And we need to, let's click on session. So we need to add the HTTP only flag before the session is started so that we make sure the uh, the settings that we have applied and the parameters that we have set to true is taking effect before the, before the session starts. So I'm going to show you here one way to do this, actually using the set cookie function. So I will paste the function over here. Okay, so the set cookie over here, it sets the parameters of the uh, cookie that will be generated for the user, okay? And here I will pick up a name, for example, user name. And suppose the value is um, John. Oops. I think there's something wrong over there. Okay, there's something. I have to close this session again. Okay, so the name, let's change it to username or user, and value to John. Expire time. Let's this can uh, not forever or something like zero. The path would be um, root path, and the domain could be example or test com. So the security flag over here. If we have an HTTPS website, okay, and I have certificate that is certified and authorized by certificate authority, I need to make the security flag over here set to true. Why? In order to prevent man in the middle attacks from taking um, place and leads to cookie hijack. So, so that when I set this flag to true, I'm instructing the, the communication between the web server and the client to be encrypted, and thus the attacker will not be able to manipulate uh, or view the cookies that's being transferred between the web client and the web server. So make sure if you have an HTTPS website to set this flag to true. Okay, regarding HTTP only flag, well, this flag, as I said, it instructs the browser not to allow JavaScript to modify cookies or session identifiers. But this is not a totally secure way to prevent, uh, let's say, cross-site scripting or cookie hijack. Because if you have an HTTP website or you don't have an HTTPS version or you have a, a big uh, mix of both HTTPS and HTTP, a cookie could be transferred from an HTTPS web page to an HTTP page and during this point, an attacker would be able to manipulate the session like or, or a vast drop on the communication process by using Wireshark or um, TCP dump or whatever to uh, sniff on the communication and be able to see the cookie that's transferred. So, yes, um, HTTP only flag is not sufficient to prevent um, cookie hijack or to prevent cross-site scripting. But it's okay, it's okay to implement this way if you don't have HTTPS, but make sure that you implement HTTPS as soon as uh, you get a certificate from a certificate authority because it's very vital to protect um, the cookies that's being generated. Okay, so HTTP only flag, I'm gonna set this to true. And we are done. So this is one way, okay? We can also use um, another way, which is using session set cookie parameters function here over here. So instead of set cookie, we can use um, session set cookie parameters. And the parameters over here go 
by the same. So secure should be true. If you have if your website is not HTTPS, you can set this to null and make sure to make make sure to set HTTP only flag to true. So you either go about using session set cookie parameters or set cookie. One of them is sufficient, uh, but as I said, the both flags are um, necessary, okay? And you need to have HTTPS active on your site in order to totally and completely prevent session hijacking, um, cookie hijacking, um, man in the middle attacks, cross site scripting to make sure that the cookies are secure and uh, will not be manipulated by external unauthorized access. So that's for this video and see you in the next video.